conjunctive particle. There are two major use cases of it. First one is where um, you know it is being used. There are two events, or more than two as well, as Radhika ji and Nandini ji was asking, can I have multiple events? And can I add car on all of them? That's absolutely correct. You can do that, right? So two events, one followed by other. That's one most common use case. The other one is when they're used as an adverb. So in the first part of the class, we'll focus on this one again, just to kind of brush up, and then we'll dig deeper into the adverb aspect of it. So the first one, if you guys recall, two events, think of it as like man, Uh, let's say you want to say I met, I I met you. How do you say that in Hindi? Okay, um, so I met you. Okay, and the second one is I felt good. Two different things, and then we'll combine them together. So, uh, who'd like to give it a try? Uh, Yerka, you want to give it a try? I met you. How do you say it in Hindi? Mm. Mm, uh, uh -huh. Very good. Main aapse mila. Very good. Uh, the verb is to meet. To meet is milna. Okay. Uh, you is aap, but is in Hindi it's with you, right? So that's why it's aapse. And um, I, as you know, is me. Okay. And then uh, because it's used in the past indefinite. Uh, milna becomes mila. Okay, so me apse mila. Next one, I felt good. Okay, um, who would like to give it a try here? Leah ji, sorry to pick on you. <laughs> How do you say I felt good? I felt good. I felt good. I felt really good. Um... I don't know many, no, me, mm -hmm. uh, to feel good. Mm. Many now you lost me, my God, how do you say you feel? So, I lost. So, so, acha, it's acha, pahut acha. Very good, uh, um, To feel is lagna or mesu uh, uh, Lagna. And it's past tense. Hmm. Uh, to feel what? Is it a transitive verb? Uh, it's a different one. So it's to you. Ah, mujko. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mujko or mujhe. Mujhe. Acha laga. Very good. There you go. Mujhe acha laga. There are many ways to say it, by the way. There are many ways to say it, OK? Uh, thank you so much. So yeah. imagine, imagine that, that you have two different sentences, like I met you, main aapse mila. Second one, I felt good, uh, mujhe achha laga. Okay. Now, with the first scenario that we are talking about, using conjunctive particle, you have to combine these two sentences. Okay. And you guys have often, you know, when you meet someone, you will say, and this is what I'm going to say, right? I mean, so mujhe because this is happening first, right? What you'll do is you will conjugate this verb, okay? The first event, and you will say mujhe, and remember the same person is saying it, same person is performing it. So you will say mujhe, aap se, and the verb will be, who's gonna tell me? Chanel, mujhe? Milka. Very good. Mujhe aap se milkar acha laga. Essentially, you are rewriting the sentence. Okay. Mujhe acha laga. And all you have done is you took the first event. Okay. And you don't have to repeat it twice. This one, because it's the same subject. And aap se is coming here. This verb is getting conjugated. Okay. Mujhe aap se milkar acha laga. 
Okay, so far so good. Um, let's keep going. Okay, and this is just a revision, but in a slightly different way than what we did last class. Last class. Now okay. I can. Yeah, go ahead. Question: Why do I say acha laga? Can I say also acha lagi? Is this, why is the reason with laga? Why is it acha laga? Who would answer that? Let me ask you guys yourself. Why is it acha laga and not lagi? Let's see. Is it Alma? because? Yeah. Go ahead. I, I thought maybe because of the postposition, like because it's not ma but muje. That is true. Okay. Who? Who? Very good. Uh, Alma ji, you want to to give it a try? Why is it? Uh, why is it laga and not lagi? It is ice cream. You know, मुझे ice cream अच्छी लगी, right? Um, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, Ashuji, is it because it's um in the past? Yeah, it's past. It's, pa it's, it's past. Say it again. Would lagi kind of be in the future? No, uh, lagi. Is also, for example, if you want to say मुझे ice cream अच्छी लगी, that's basically you know I like the ice cream. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying here. Uh, please, I should just. Is the feeling is a masculine? Is that what? It's, uh, it's feeling good. A masculine thing. Uh, is that what it's laga? That is true. So the verb here is base. Base verb is lagna to feel. Lagna is the base verb and uh, to feel. But the the question here is why we use laga and why not lagi. Because uh, I think it's about not about me. It's about how I feel. It's not yeah. me. It's not about I. It's about yeah. how I feel. So right. I think that's what it is. But I won't be able to make another sentence. But I understand so, why it is. You guys are going in the right track. Let's see, okay, Kelly G. What do you think? Why? Why would you? Think? Maybe is it because of the? Um, I mean, it's in the muje instead of the me. Is it because also it's reflecting the? Um, Maybe the opposite milkar for some reason, or like, because it's there's no other, um, like there's no like kitab or something where it would be, you know what I'm saying? That is true. So Kelly, here, if that's the case, shouldn't it be ache lage? It's it's not. It's a, it's about ab. <laughs> Should it not be no, lage? No, but it's the milkar, right? It's like the the whole maybe the other participle. I don't know. Oh, right. Taking a shot in the dark. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I think you guys are on the right track. Like there is no direct uh, object here. Like if, if it is ice cream, you can say मुझे ice cream अच्छी लगी. Okay. If it is banana, you can say मुझे केला अच्छा लगा और मुझे apple अच्छा लगा. But by default, my take is without any you know thing, you are basically मुझे आपसे मिलकर अच्छा लगा. Right. I mean, so by default, it is going to to the masculine singular rather than like you know a feminine singular or the other the way you can do it. By so that's with all conjunctive participles then. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, मुझे a uh, good good question actually. Okay. मुझे आपसे मिलकर अच्छा लगा. Okay. So right now, stay there. I want you guys to all think. What else can you put in here in your context? Okay. We can all feel happy doing different things. Okay. So I put in a list of uh, things that you can replace आपसे मिलकर to, and I want as I'm doing it. I want you to keep writing in the in the in the Zoom chat, so at least I can really see your thought process as well. Okay, so you can replace it with multiple things. If you someone you like to cook food, you can say मुझे खाना बनाकर अच्छा लगा. Okay, और मुझे खाना खाकर अच्छा लगा. If you someone you who you know you enjoy eating, and here the base stem is banana. the verb banana which is to make not the fruit but the verb okay to make mujhe khana banakar acha laga same thing i'm just replacing this part mujhe khana banakar acha laga and uh, if those of you who like to do exercise you can say mujhe exercise karke aur kasrat karke acha laga okay mujhe exercise karke acha laga um you can also say if you like chai peeker If someone you like to drink chai, 
chai peaker the verb here i'm going to write it down is base time is karna which is to do okay and pina is to uh, drink so pina okay uh, same thing mujhe chai peaker acha laga okay um we miss our family right so we we feel we, we feel good after talking to them okay uh, so in this case you can say mujhe but for any parent right mujhe bachcho से बात करके मुझे बच्चों से बात करके अच्छा लगा राइट सो होपफुल इट मेक सेंस राइट यू आफ्टर यू नो स्पीकिंग विद माई किड्स आई फेल गुड मुझे बच्चों से बात करके अच्छा लगा मैंने रेज इट आई होप यू गैस वर एबल टू राइट इट डाउन एंड आई कीप गोइंग दिस इज स्लाइटली मोर एडवांस देन वी डेड लास्ट क्लास but that's for a reason because you guys know the basics and i just want you to feel comfortable making more complex sentence but think about it this part is still uh, not a variable part we kept it fixed so you can just play around with the middle part and you can just see yourself making multiple sentences and then now need like for you this is particularly i thought about you like you know in in middle school you get a lot of homework right so you can say that you know if you like it mujhe homework karke acha laga right uh, it may not be the best thing for you but you're like okay i'm i'm you know i'm done with it now i can focus on something else right so mujhe homework karke acha laga uh, if you like enjoy reading books you can say mujhe yah kitab padhkar i felt good after reading this particular book right mujhe yah uh, kitab padhkar acha laga uh, again the verb this here is karna and the verb here is padhna is to read padhna mujhe yah kitab padh ke acha laga okay um we all like to watch movie so you can also say mujhe movie dekh kar acha laga the verb here is dekhna dekhna is to see or to watch okay uh, so this is all i kind of like you know uh, put together for for you guys and uh, i thought it will be useful for you to see all the you know uh, different uh, combinations here so let's see how what you guys are thinking uh, and i'm really excited so uh, what you wrote aap mujhe aapse milke khushi hui that's right you can say that as well uh, okay and then mujhe nadi mein naha ke acha laga that pretty good okay mujhe nadi mein naha kar acha laga nahana i should take bath and then you know if you take after taking bath in a in a river i felt good um and then you can say mujhe jeel mein tair kar acha laga after swimming in a lake i felt good that's pretty good mujhe pooja karke acha laga that's pretty nice uh, after doing worship i felt good um and then mujhe paidal chal kar acha laga after paidal chalna is the same as like you know i sometimes just use chalna as a verb which is to walk and uh, the example given here is mujhe paidal chal kar after walking on foot i felt good and then um मुझे YouTube देखकर अच्छा लगा दैट्स बुंदे भी सेइंग दैट दैट्स प्रीगुड मुझे एंड देन मुझे राग गाकर अच्छा लगा फॉर दोस ऑफ यू एंजॉय सिंगिंग क्लासिकल म्यूजिक यू कैन से दैट मुझे राग गाकर अच्छा लगा ओके द क्वेश्चन वाज कैन आई यूज के इंस्टेड ऑफ कर एंड दैट इज करेक्ट दे यूज इंटरचेंजेबली सो वेयरएवर यू आर राइटिंग कर यू कैन रिप्लेस दैट विद के एज वेल ओके दैट्स कंप्लीटली फाइन uh and then mujhe billi ke sath khel kar acha laga okay after playing with my cat i felt good and uh, uh mujhe film dekh uh okay mujhe film dekh kar acha laga i think that's what you're trying to say um tell me so it's all good um uh ashur ji uh, could you just translate one of these sentence in english please like uh... yeah. so so think it you you tell me what do you how how will you make sense of it because it's much easier for Let's say I, when I say uh, you know, मुझे ये किताब पढ़कर अच्छा लगा. What do you? Uh, what do you? What do you? When I about? read this book, I felt good. Or uh, after reading the book, uh, you know, I felt good. Okay. Yeah. When you know there is a different construct depending on how you like. जब मैंने ये किताब पढ़ी तब मुझे अच्छा लगा. So when and then they follow a slightly different construct in Hindi. Essentially, it may mean the same thing to the listener. at the end of okay. the day but if you want to explicitly say when and then then you have a jab and tab okay okay 
so hopefully that makes sense right so now it's like after doing this i i felt this that's right okay. or after performing okay. one action you perform another action right in this case i just okay. picked up this base sentence mujhe acha laga okay but then in between you are doing something okay yeah uh, sure sir thank you yeah. you can say another example main sketch karke you know um, safai karti hu aur main sketch karke khana banati hu uh, which means basically you sketched first and then you know uh, you do right after that or after that you do cleaning or you do cooking or you do any other activity yeah uh, who else ha hasn't had a chance to write it uh, and i'm going to pick on you tatiana ji give us give us a sentence and tell us you know uh, Uh, what do you what do you feel about it any sentence she wrote it down okay uh, she you wrote uh, okay mujhe hindi padh ke acha laga very good awesome sunita ji alma what do you guys think give us a sim any anything simple no <laughs> okay uh um, Tom Yes sir professor I'm afraid you brought out a question from me yeah. I understand with the muje apse milkar because we have the say but with muje movie dekar why is it still muje Why is it what Why is it still muje instead of me me movie dekar No no the base part is still the same you know you can say main movie dekhta hu that's completely fine okay main movie dekhta hu is different that's one sentence main movie dekhta hu aur maine movie dekhi and then mujhe acha laga two separate so in this case two sentences that you are combining is maine movie dekhi mujhe acha laga okay but the when you combine them together it's going to still follow the you know the the grammatical construct of mujhe mujhe acha laga and then you will remove the maine movie dekhi you will just put मुझे मूवी देखकर अच्छा लगा सो आई एम नॉट श्योर दैट्स व्हाट योर क्वेश्चन इज बट टेल मी इफ दिस इज द आंसर योर क्वेश्चन यस द मुझे फॉलो फ्रॉम मी अच्छा लगा नॉट फ्रॉम मी डेकर मूवी डेकर द मुझे कम्स फ्रॉम मी अच्छा लगा सो दिस इज द द सेंटेंस नंबर 1 मुझे अच्छा लगा ओके यू कैन फील गुड आफ्टर डूइंग मल्टीपल थिंग्स ओके um let's see if somebody else understood your question better As ashuji uh, so tom is trying to ask like uh, mujhe comes uh, when you know in this context may will be better in the first place but mujhe comes because we are talking about your feelings and That's as right. ashuji mentioned when we talk about our wants our likes our dislikes and our needs and feelings mujhe will be used that is true that is true so this is this is not related with so mood. even though the sentence has got two parts its main thing is talking about how you felt so that That's is the reason mujhe comes there that is true if i said after seeing the movie i went for a walk me movie dekhar chalta chalta so you went for a walk me walk pe gaya okay me Yeah, me movie dekar chalta. Me movie dekar chala. You can say that, or you know. Uh, so, what is your base sentence? Like, I walked, or I went for a walk. I I went for a walk. Chala. Okay, me, that is true. Me chala. Okay, you can say that. Me. So, me movie dekar chala. That you can say that. Thank you, Thank you yeah. so much. That explains okay. things. There you go. <laughs> you already made your sentence, right? Um, let's see. Um, So energy, okay. You said मुझे परिवार देखकर अच्छा लगा, okay, awesome. मुझे परिवार देखकर अच्छा लगा. Any any questions? So this is I made it slightly complicated, but at the end of the day, it's still uh, two events. One is happening after the other, okay. One is as a result of the the other, okay. Before we move on to the second aspect. Okay. Um, um, Ashu ji, मेरा एक सवाल है, like. Um, Uh, 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 lagna is to feel, but I've also seen mehsus um, karna. Uh, is that common or not common? I don't use that often, but uh, it is it is quite common. It is you will find mehsus karna, 
राइट आई मीन आप कैसा महसूस कर रहे हैं आई मीन यू कैन यू कैन यूज दैट एंड इट्स हार्ड टू से लाइक यू नो इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू नो यू विल सी द यूजेज ऑफ बोथ let me put it this way you see usage of both of them and if you feel more comfortable if you feel <laughs> more comfortable you know using mesos karna you can say that because there is no it's not like one is for heat or sensations on the skin and another yeah. is for feelings they're both inter- they're it's interchangeable yeah that is true. okay thanks done you yeah awesome so let's get going um but please continue to to ask any questions you have on this one but this is sort of your um your one way of using conjunctive particle okay the second one is slightly more challenging and i think it came up in the previous class as well uh, so hopefully uh, you know you will see the the other most common use of using conjunctive particle okay and uh, so here i have to give you some more like you know grammar here uh, so conjunctive particles are used are also used are also used as an adverb as an adverb where they describe the manner in which in which you performed the action perform the action okay or the answer the how question how did you do this thing or tell me the 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 way in which you did the the action okay uh in in the, those cases you know you put k or k to the base stem of the verb and you will describe the the manner of the activity okay um i'll give you some more examples here okay but just remember this definition same person is performing the action but he is trying to describe the manner in which he performed or she performed the action okay and similarly you can convert the sentence in, into the how question let's look at the examples here okay i hope you wrote the definition so let's say uh let's say you want to say he said or she said this is your base sentence okay he said or she said in and to say in hindi is kehna okay this is to say or to tell um now let me ask someone who hasn't had a chance uh, what's the like how will you say uh, he said or she said in hindi uh va okay va is the verb not the verb but the pronoun which is he or she and then kaha okay usne kya kaha oh, sorry i i i ended up giving you the answer but um, what do you think is it a transitive verb or intransitive verb i am not sure okay okay um what method will you use to figure out whether it is a transitive or intransitive do you say something or do you not say something is it you know uh uh is will there be any object or will there be a need of like you know um you know uh even if there is no direct object when you you know you remember the the formula u in the verb and then something in this case you say something right mm-hmm. right so you said something so when there is a uh you have a presence of something it gives you an indication that it is a transitive verb and what do you do in that case when you know it's a transitive verb what which post position do you use with the with the pronoun वह कहा वर्सेस उसने वेरी गुड वेरी गुड उसने कहा सो वह एंड ने बिकम्स उसने कहा राइट उसने कहा नाउ यू नो द सेम थिंग 
can be said in many different ways. Okay, um, in English, if you want to put some additional adverbs here, you can say she he she said eloquently. Okay, or you know he said angrily. Okay, or he said loudly. Okay, or or many or laughingly in a crying manner. There are many ways to say that, right? But all of those are describing how something was said. So in those cases also, you can use conjunctive particle to describe in which the action was performed, in which the the subject he or she did the action. So the action is that they are saying something. Okay. So usne kaha. Okay. So now, just like the previous example, I'm gonna. What I will do is usne kaha, and I'm gonna give you. And I also want to think you to think the feeling or the manner in which, not the feeling, in the manner in which this thing can be done. Okay, usne kaha. Now, if it is done in a laughing manner, you will say uh, to laugh is hasna. Okay, and um, if I want to say he said laughingly or she said laughingly, how will I say that? Chanel, what do you think? She said laughingly. Usne haskar kaha? Very good. Usne. So what did you do? You remove the na and you put kar to it, right? So usne haskar kaha. Okay. Now. Try not to translate it one to one into English because then you will there will be slight slight confusion there. Okay, so right now you're just saying like in a manner this you know the person performed the action. Usne haskar kaha. Okay, uh, what is the opposite of hasna, Tommy? How will you say that to cry? In English, the opposite would be he said sadly. Yep, yep, yep. So, And to cry, I believe to cry is rana. Oh, so Rona. Yeah. Rona. Yeah. So Rona. Usne Ro Roskar Kaha. Usne uh, sorry, Ro Rokar Kaha. Usne yeah. Rokar Kaha. Very good. Right? Usne Rokar Kaha. It's one word. Usne Rokar Kaha. Uh, Ashuji, I have a question here. So, adding this kar can mean uh, two different meanings at different places. Is that right? So, one place it can mean after doing, and in another place it can mean along with doing, like simultaneously. Correct? That is true. So, don't yeah. use the word simultaneously just because, like you know, simultaneously has. Uh, We'll come to that right after this. Yeah, we'll yeah, I to... understood it. Like in our language, we have two different parts, and just trying to relate it so that I put it in my memory. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So this is like a the understood a second most common use of using the kar to the uh, to the base stem. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Arshuji. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Uh, let's see if I want to say um, if I want to say more here. Um, shyly in a shy manner. Let's say I want to say. Uh, shy in shyly. I don't know if there's a word called shyly, uh, but uh, if there were a word called shyly, uh, uh, you know, sharmana is the word uh, for sharmana. Sharmana is the word for like in a in a in a sh basically like you know, me sharmata to like I blush to blush basically is sharmana. So. If this was the manner in which somebody said something, how will you say that? The word is sharmana, so I made it easy for you already. Uh, you guys can all write it down, okay? I may be asking one person, but I do encourage all of you to continue to write on the chat, uh, so you are thinking along, okay? Sangeeta, what do you think? Usne sharma kar kaha. Usne sharma kar. Kaha. Okay, so the manner you know uh, in which the thing was said, it was you know for there was a shyness in there. Okay, um, what else can we use here? Let's see if you guys are thinking along and writing something in the chat. Okay, Sharmakar. Okay, so 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 this one is slightly tricky. Uh, Kelly G, you will not say uh, 
you know, gussa is ang, you know, anger. Um, there you will say, gusse me kaha. Okay, you will not put kar there. Uh, and um, when to use kar, when to use me, um, that's, uh, that's a very, very hard question for me to answer. But right now, just uh, play along. Right now, just think that, you know, uh, the most common examples I'm giving, you will put kar there. Okay, but rest of them, you can say, usne gusse me kaha. Okay. You can say that though. Yeah, go ahead, Amritesh. Uh, I have a question. Usne sarmate hue kaha and usne sarmakar kaha. Is there any practical difference between both sentences? That's a great question. So right after this, we'll, we'll do that. Like, you know, it's... Um, um, hue is, you know, it's more close to, like, you know, you are doing it simultaneously, okay? Um, in this one, it's basically you think of it as a manner only. In some cases, there are there is one-on-one -on -one mapping, but in most of them, it's still like one event after the other. Uh, you know, uh, but when you do when you do put hue, and I'll give more example. The right after this section, what I plan to do, all the sentences where we put kar, we'll put hue there, and we'll see how it changes. So in some cases, it it makes it explicitly clear. Okay. Uh, where you will say that it is happening simultaneously when you put hue. Uh, but in, in uh, other cases, it may mean exactly the same thing. But in my mind, there is a difference. There is a difference and, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, on hue versus the car. But hang in there, right after this, we'll, we'll jump to that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now let's say, um, Makes sense, okay. So usne, usne, that's true. Usne gusse mein aakar kaha, aur usne gussa hokar kaha. Okay, so this is a close one, Taraj. Very good. Usne, uh, and, um, that's so helpful I, to distinguish it then from the adverb. Because I, I, I was thinking like, why not just use an adverb? But it's, that's a, a distinguishing. Um, gussa, say it again, like uh, give an example to Kelly G. Just that, yeah, I mean, in, you could, well, maybe there's some slight difference, right? Between saying, um, Gusa uh, say like so. Usne gusa say kaha, right? He said it angrily. Yeah. So this is this is a little. Is it slightly different, or is it exactly the same thing? If you say, I, I, no, gusa say kaha is the. Uh, I, I think you know the, this example is more clear that you know Taraji or gusa hokar kaha, right? right. Um, but what I said was gusa say kaha is like you know again there's a manner in which you know uh, you know gusa me kaha basically. Um, so now, are they both same? In my mind, yes, they both are same. They're, you know, uh, they're reflecting the same feeling, like in which, or a manner in which the thing was, you know, said. Okay. Um, yeah. This one is more close because it's like, you know, it's meeting the pattern and also like, you know, uh, he was angry when he, angrily, basically. So this is more close to like he said angrily. Uh, and the other, in the other one is like he said in anger. That's the the. Oh, wait, wait. Can, can, can you say that again? I didn't quite get that. So one is he he said angrily, which is what Taraji wrote, like angrily. I think it's angrily or I. Uh, and the other one is he said or she said in anger. So all right, which I, one is which again? <laughs> So what Taraji wrote is Gussa Hokar Kaha. Huh, okay. Gussa Hokar, and this is in anger, Gussa Me Kaha. Uh, and Ashuti is the uh, verb Gussa Hona? Is it that? Yes, yes, yes Gussa Hona. And to, to make things ma matters even worse, you can also say gusse me akar kaha. Gusse me akar kaha. Or Ashwati? Yeah. Can I say also usse, um, usne gusse hue? Vah gussa hua. You can say it. Gusse hue kaha? Uh, no, you will not say it. What are you trying to say there though? As as in, because you can use um, 
Yeah, I only know the Dutch terms. Um, because with hona, you could also make it a an adverb in a way. Okay, so what what are you trying to to say in the final sentence? I don't know. I thought the sentence um, usne gusse hue kaha. Usne gusse hue kaha. I will not say that. No. I'm okay. Trying to think what you're, you know, how will you say it in Dutch? But uh, it has to be followed with something. Gus, you know, in this case, you are conjugating the, you know, you're trying to make a an adverb out of it, just like gussa to gusse. I, I'm still trying to think what what's going on in in you know in in your scenario. Uh, I'm not able to think, but I don't think it. I, it does not make sense. But like mm -hmm. right now, yeah. Uh, so, ji, uh, in my state, we sometimes use usne gussakar kaha gussakar. Yeah, yeah. So now it is like you know Hindi sp <laughs> spoken in like you know in, in in the grammatical sense. I I will not say that though, Amritesh. I I know it's like you know. Um, uh, it can be said in some places, but gusakar kaha. Interesting one. I, I, I mean, I mean, I'm, you know, um, because you're saying it, I assume, or you know, it, it's it's said commonly, but um, um, I've not read it, you know, you know, in, in the books uh, per se, but uh, colloquially, I'm I'm sure it can be said it. Okay, um, like, like the same way as like sathyakar kaha, right? I mean, or usne. Uh, so I, I I I don't contest that, right? I mean, if if it is said it in a particular region, you know, by all means, you should use it. Usne kar kaha, okay. So that's also a manner in which you know uh, you know you can say that. Now, the question can be said like you know what is the manner in dard? Now usne kar kaha. But like in the previous class, we were discussing exactly the same example, right? Usne kar kaha, you know. So put it in the second bucket, you know, put it in the manner in which it said, or it is used as an adverb. So you can say that. Dodkar kaha. Usne dodkar kaha. Okay. Similarly, you can say carefully. Usne sambhal kar kaha. Sambhal kar kaha. Carefully. Okay, usne carefully. He said, "Sambal kar." Usne uh, carefully kaha. Okay. Um, Ashanti, how do you say sweetly? Like uh, he said sweetly. How do you say sweetly? Uh, now, I have one thing in my mind that I can say, uh, in which you can say oh, he said sweetly. Uh, let's see what some of you guys think. Uh, let me put it back on you. Um, who would like to answer that? Is it Madhurka? Uh, Madhurka? Usne Madhurka se kaha aur usne Madhurta purvak kaha. That's what going on my mind as well. Usne Madhurta se kaha. Oh, Madhurta se, not Madhurkar. No, no. Okay. Not and that's what Ashuji, I was like. could, uh, could you write the meaning of Sharmakar and Madhur, Madhurta also, like so that we remember the English meaning yeah, of yeah. it? So, so um, yeah, so. Madhurta, Madhur is basically is used as a you know sweet here, and uh, in a sweet manner. This is exactly what in a sweet manner or sweetly, in a sweet manner. Okay. You can use piara there uh, in any way. You can use piara. You can say that. It's the PR say kaha. Well, the thing is, like, then you you can say multiple things in multiple ways. But I think my goal was to stick to the kar part and uh, to give you um, the the whole point of like you know conjunctive particle. And again, we don't have to force ourselves, which is which is good, which is what you're doing. You're not unnecessarily forcing yourself to do. You know, you you don't have to use it if you're comfortable using the other ways of. Expressing the, the the manner in which you are you know saying something or doing something, okay. Um, coming back to the cur part, let's say you did deliberately, or she said deliberately or knowingly. How do you do that? Like, and that's a 
heavy word for it in Hindi, and that's what Rupa Snell is also using it. उसने जान बुझ कर कहा, right? उसने जान बुझ कर कहा, okay? And this is basically knowingly. So as a kid, I used to use it quite a lot. Like when I used to complain about my sister to my mom, that <laughs> right? I mean, I would use it. Like जान बुझ कर परेशान कर रही है. She's doing it deliberately, mom. So go and you know uh, talk. <laughs> शर्मा Sorry, shambhal kar kaha. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, shambhal kar is uh, is now ask your question. Oh, okay. But so in that same way, dhyan se is it a very similar or a different? You know, you can say usne dhyan se kaha. It's completely fine. Usne okay. dhyan se kaha. She he said or she said carefully. Right. Yeah. What does um, bhuj kar on its own mean? Like, say what does that. bhuj kar mean? is it's combined to get you have to say it together which oh, okay. independent legal is not a you know a oh, okay. word so, which is not a verb on its own buj bujhana is a verb to you know to extinguish like a fire like oh, okay. you, you probably have you heard it in that context yeah, yeah? now you want to say he or she said accusingly okay um how you say that right so the word here the verb here is arop lagana arop lagana okay to accuse okay and uh, tara ji how will you say that she said accusingly or he said accusingly usne arop laga khad kaha Beautiful, right? उसने आरोप लगाकर कहा, right? Um, I hope you guys get the sense. I'm not like trying to force ourselves to use it. I'm not advocating that. Feel comfortable using the the most common way of using the the manner, right? Where we say like मैंने हंस कर, you know, मैंने हंसते Uh, you know uh, like as i said like usse me kaha so if you're comfortable that way go for it right i mean that's the way to do this is because you're on this topic of using conjunctive particle i'm covering the the two most common ways of using conjunctive particle okay but we don't have to force ourselves to use it right this is because we are here we are mastering the tool okay um usne aarop laga kar kaha sir these are common in uh like in conversational hindi or In, in even in, in the in the in the academic sense also they are common you will see those are the two common so while talking you may use it the most common way you are comfortable with but the person can respond in this manner so this is mostly for you to to remain familiar that you know if they are saying usne arop laga kar kaha so it is quite common when you are reading a story or a textbook or even a fictional book the author can say that उसने गुस्से में कहा और गुस्सा उसने गुस्सा होकर कहा राइट और उसने आरोप लगा कर कहा यू इट इज कॉमन टू सी देम इन द इन द बुक्स एज वेल धन्यवाद लास्ट वन आई नोटेड हियर एंड लेट मी फिनिश दिस वन सो द द नेक्स्ट वन हियर इज लेट्स से लाउडली वी बी वी हैव वर्क्ड ऑन दिस वर्ड हियर इन द पास्ट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास हियर का व्हाट डू यू थिंक I have no clue. Uh, remember the word to to. Okay. Yes, uh, I remember that we we uh, chilana. Very word. good. Very very good. So now, how will you say? Uh, chilana. So chila chilakar. Very good. Usne chilakar kaha. Right. Usne chilakar kaha. Can yeah. you say? Can you say jorkar? Jorkar. So there you will say Jor se kaha. 
Oh, Jose. Okay, Jose. I, th I think we have some time, and I do want to, before I forget it, uh, you know, we do want to have some breakout room, but I want to answer the question that, um, that Amritesh was asking, right? So all the, these things, you know, that we did, I do want you to put, I do want you to, uh, to, to think about it this way, right? So he, first one is Usne, Roker Kaha. And the second one is Usne. So verb here is Rona. Right? In the first scenario, what we have done is we remove the na and you put kar here. Usne roker kaha. In the second one is basically Usne Rote Hue Kaha. Okay. The question was, what is the, the difference here? The difference, okay, and similarly, I'll write another set. So I want you to think about all the examples we did. As in homework, you try to put hue in all of them, okay? And conjugate the verb accordingly. You know, there is the, the ta, te, and ti here. Usne rote hue kaha, okay? So don't try to put kar and then hue together. It will be confusing, okay? Similarly, usne, Another example, so this is one pair. Another pair I want you to think as a homework exercise. Usne, TV, take kar. Usne, TV, dekh kar, safai, kari, or ki. Versus, usne, TV, dekhte, hue, safai, ki. So these are the two pairs, pair one and pair two. Uh, the question can be asked, what is the difference between the two? Be, remember, be, in the previous class, we were talking about like things happening simultaneously. Okay. Look at this example. Usne TV dekhte hoye safai ki. While she was washing Hi. TV, she did cleaning or she cleaned. Okay. Versus, usne TV dekhte hoye safai kari. She um, TV dekha, she watched TV and she cleaned. Okay. Um, to a viewer or listener, it may make the same thing. It may, it may make, it may appear like they're the same thing, but there is still a subtle difference. There is a notion of simul doing it simultaneously in the second one more. Look at this one. Usne rote kaha. Uh, when she was, you know, she was saying and she was simultaneously crying Usne rote hue ka. okay so that's the while right the second that, one is the while that is, that is true that is the while part simultaneously and that's why i was trying to tell you don't you know hold on there for the the simultaneous part but even this one Usne rokar kaha. if you are literally translating it it will come across as like she she cried and said he cried or she cried and she said, or he said. Now, if even in English, if I were to ask you, he cried and he said, what, what would make sense to you? Are, is it happening simultaneously? Is it ha happening one after the other? That's a very hard question, right? Um, for, for all it means, it may be happening at the same time, right? Or it may be like, you know, she first, he first cried and then he said, Right, so that's why I was like, you know, it's uh, it's it's this one is hard to answer, but it's that this one is definitely something while something was was you know happening. So this one is definitely a simultaneously uh, the case which is happening in the in in the simultaneous sense. And the simultaneous part is the the who is so it's she said while crying. That is true. Okay. So while crying, so I want you to try all of them, all the examples with it. Um, usne sambalte hue kaha, usne, you know, uh, sharmate hue kaha, usne uh, haste hue kaha, usne rote hue kaha, right? So I want you to try, so this is the homework exercise for all of you. So go back to the, 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 the 20 minutes of the video back, look at all the examples, okay? And then try to use uh, hue with the verb, okay? So just put the same structure, usne kaha, but in between, 
try to use hue with all the verbs okay um hopefully it makes sense okay or it or, or you know if not will you know we'll always come back again and we'll continue to look into it yeah um so for the we have i know i always try to finish it on time and we we ran over but uh, so the for the breakout room i want you to look at the book uh, on um i don't know the exact page number but look at the exercise 12 a1 and 12 a2 okay um and i do want you to finish it in the class it's on page number 157 for those of you if you are in the more advanced group you can you should be able to do both of them 12 a1 but if you need need more time you can just do one of them 12 a you know so these are the two thing i want you to do in the breakout room with your friends breakout room okay so uh 12a1 and 12a2 if time is not enough just do the first one 12a1 okay um and i'm going to just come to each of the room and i'll see how you guys are doing uh please help your other friends as well okay the idea is to you know help each other so let me just um stop the the